To your final lesson. Hello friends, this is Reensha. I hope you are fine. Welcome back to the channel. This is my I am waiting for your feedback in the comments. If you like this video, subscribe for more upcoming videos. Welcome back everyone. It is Amelia. I hope you are fine. If you did not like the video, give me some ideas related to my video. Marvel's Echo ends with an epic final episode featuring Maya Lopez as she finally chooses which legacy she truly belongs to in the MCU. Marvel's Echo ends with both an epic showdown and an an exciting future for its primary hero and villain in the MCU. Starring Alakwa Cox as Maya Lopez, Echo is set in the aftermath of 2021's Hawkeye, continuing Maya's journey after she shot Wilson Fisk's kingpin, Vincent D'Onofrio, for orchestrating father's death, the New York crime boss whom she had long seen as an uncle. Having returned home to Oklahoma, Maya is forced to choose in the series final whether to embrace the legacy of her family and ancestors or the one of by one of the MCU's greatest villains. Originally believing that she wanted to take over the presumably diseased Kingpin's empire, Echo sees Maya connecting with her past and those who came before in a very powerful way. Combined with the reveal that Fisk survived his injuries and wanted Maya to return to him once more with the promise of her own empire, Maya chooses to embrace her family and the legacy of her ancestors in Echo's final, leading to a major showdown with some major ramifications for both rivals. Here's Echo's ending explained as well as its teases for the future of the MCU. Having tapped into the power of her ancestors dating back to the first chopped woman Chafa, Maya Lopez seemingly attempts to heal Kingpin of his pain and rage just as she was able to after being encouraged by the spirit of her mother. Placing her hands on Fisk which were glowing with spiritual energy, Echo left Kingpin confused and shaken as he demanded to know what Maya had done to him. Seen resisting Maya's effort, it's unclear if Echo was entirely successful, though something was clearly done to Kingpin that left him so rattled. During Maya's healing process, various flashbacks to Kingpin's past are featured including his traumatic childhood where he murdered his father, his murder of the ice cream vendor seen in previous episodes when Maya was a child, as well as a sequence where Fisk is standing in front of a large painting while wearing a black suit. This feels reminiscent of the art gallery where he met Vanessa Marina in Daredevil Season 1, or possibly in the presidential suite where Fisk was under house arrest just before making Vanessa his wife in Daredevil Season 3. Having been escorted from the Choctaw Powwow by his men, Fisk is seen on board his jet in Echo's post credit scene. Listening to the newscasters talking about the potential for a new mayoral candidate to emerge, the implication is clear that Kingpin will attempt to run for New York's mayor in the MCU's future, most likely in Daredevil, born again. This mirrors a more recent run in the comics where Wilson Fisk leveraged his influence to do the very same, creating all sorts of complications for the Marvel Universe's heroes, particularly Daredevil. Give me some ideas related to my video in comments on below if you like this video and subs for more upcoming videos.